246 West Bowmore Drive. This is the, um, the house right across and let me show you the whole surrounding neighborhood area. It's actually located in a cul-de-sac and um, a lot of nature, all stable trees. And there's one of these houses that looks like they tried to start the work but never completed. Um, this is right across the house. And that's the next door neighbor. Walking down the um, drive is a little bit sloping down. But let me see the um, backyard. The landscaping just needs to be um, trimmed, as you can see. Let me walk down to the left side. It has two system AC unit, assuming one is up and the other one is down. It looks like in good condition. Also knowing that the house is actually about five years old. This is the backyard, a lot of natural trees, not a lot of backyard and there's two trees that needed to be trimmed. Here's the crawl space. One side is fenced and um, this is the side of the backyard. The rest of them are all trees and bushes. the deep side of them. I will have to ask what the property lot is on this house but really not enough to put in a pool. That's the deck area. This is the side of the house. Looks like it needs some power washing. the driveway up to the front entering into the front door this is the garage you can see the driveway and um, coming in See the foyer, it's hardwood foyer, foyer, and um, this is the entrance. That's the stairs going up to the second level. To your right will be your formal dining room. It has a chair railing. Then up ahead that would be your living room, but let's go see. When you enter to the formal dining room, that will be straight ahead would be your butler pantry, which is a solid surface or a Korean countertops. And to continue turn to the left would be the kitchen. It has a gas stove. You have the little island here. That would be your door to the garage. You have a closet here, a coat closet. Then up to next to it is a good size walk-in pantry. And in the same location would be the desk and breakfast area right here that walks up to the deck or patio. Um, I can show it to you coming from this angle. So that would be your desk, your butler pantry with the open door and you have a little island actually a good size island and it's all solid surface um, 
above stove microwave and that's a gas stove. Well, I'm already here, I might as well just show you the back here coming from this angle. So you're walking out from the breakfast area would be the deck. Deck just need to be power washed. And as you are overlooking from the deck area, this would be your backyard. So that's the house. This is the bushes area. Crawl space. And um, entering back inside the house. This is the breakfast area. Um, plenty of counter space, nice maple color cabinets that opens up to the living room. This is the living room area. Pretty decent size that overlooks at the backyard. Fireplace looks like um, a gas. And straight up ahead would be the door that's open. Straight ahead is the half bath. This is a room that you can use, um, it's a French door, could be an office. Um, there is no cabinet, but it could be used as an office. But you go straight up ahead, would be the half bath with a pedestal sink. Um, this is the formal living room. Gray carpet colors. And that's the door from the front. Now we're going to go head back up. Staircase. Color carpet gray all around. Um, not in bad shape, but it needs some kind of steaming. So Before we start, we're going to go head to the left from the staircase, which is the master bedroom. So the great thing about this floor plan is a split floor plan. The master bedroom is on one side of the house. But that is the size of the master. You have a ceiling pan. Master bath has a dual vanity, but they're separate in location. So you have the maple wood cabinets. Oops. You have a garden tub. That would be the second vanity that you commode. This is the walk-in shower and um, walk-in closet. Not very big, but it's doable size. So going back out, that would be your master. Now going straight through. When you come up from your master, this is the view that you get. You're on a second level. You see right at the front with a high two-story foyer. Then going straight ahead. We call this bedroom number two. Plain white color. Actually, interior paint is not that bad. Coming to the left would be the third bedroom good sized bedroom and um, when you come out to your left would be your second bath it has actually two vanities for a bath that's a commode tub shower combination it has a window that looks over the backyard this is the second vanity of the guest bath And across from it is actually the laundry room. It has a sink and also a storage space where you can hang out also wet clothes. So moving forth on the frog. The front room above garage is what they call it. It's a good size deep media room can be used. So 
Overall, the paint on this house is doable, it's still in good shape. Attic access. It has a cable connection here. So this is the whole size of the frog. Coming back out would be the last bedroom. You have your um, last bedroom here, the fifth bedroom. So coming back out, again, they're moving back to the front. That would be the master, and that concludes our showing.